All right, welcome back to another uh, Python Pro tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to um, discuss a global variable and a global statement. And I'm going to tell you how I do not like either one of them, but um, you got to know about them. So anyhow, uh, first off, we know a global variable is a variable that lives outside of functions. All right, it's it's a variable that's available to the whole code. All right, and we also discussed in the previous tutorial, local variables are variables that live inside a function, and they're only available to the code inside the function code block. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a little scenario and why I don't like um, uh, global variables, and you'll understand when I'm done. All right, so our scenario is we're going to have uh, a little office party, so we're going to have uh, some global. I'm just going to name it some global because I want you to know it's a global variable. And we got a coworker and he's a nice guy. All right. So now we've got to define our office party. So we're going to go ahead and define office underscore party. And that's going to be our function. All right. And in here, we're going to just have a little comment, some drinks. All right. Um, so. Our coworker, uh, nice guy, had a few drinks, right? Um, some drinks, I should say. And um, if he has a lot of drinks, then he turns into a drunk guy. So we're going to uh, change some global to equal drunk guy. All right. Now, <clears throat> this is where my issue comes into play with global variables and how they interact all right so we have this global variable outside our function then we try to rename it or do something with that variable or right, reassign it i should say and we try to reassign it to drunk guy well in theory um if we weren't inside a function that would happen all right but since this variable is now inside a function we have no control over this global variable all right so hit return and we come down and we'll call office underscore party party we'll call that function all right now we'll call some underscore global all right and we get nice guy all right he's still a nice guy it's understandable he's still a nice guy he only had some drinks all right but what happens here is since this is a local variable we cannot change the the um global variable out here so if you're writing some code and you're like hey i want to change the value of some global uh you can't do that inside a function all right all right so we got that going on but then comes um something called the global statement all right and the global statement uh kind of eggs our drunk guy, our our coworker on to getting pretty drunk all right so let's go ahead and uh clear our screen and we're Command K, some global. I'm just going to rewrite this so you guys can see it. And we got nice guy. All right. Now we're going to define our function again. Define office underscore party. And then inside our, our uh, function, I'm going to put another comment. And it's going to be several drinks this time. It's not just some drinks, it's several drinks. And then um, comes uh, the global statement. And what the global, not global statement, global sum, global. All right. What this does is allows us to modify the global uh, variable. All right. So this statement saying, hey, this is available now for modification. All right. And you'll see why I don't like this. Um, all right. So we'll change sum global to idiot drunk. All right. So now, now our coworker is some idiot drunk guy. All right. So now when we come out here and we call office party, we'll just run our, our function. We're not asking for anything in return. So we just, the office party's happening, right? So we ran our function. Then we print some global. All right. Now we got idiot drunk guy. All right, well, global comes in and screws things up. And how does this happen? Well, if we have a, ver a global variable outside, the glo global variable should never be able to be changed by a function. Yeah, there's times when you should be able to do it, but not, not happen all the time. So when you bring in global, this can get confusing when you're 
code gets really long. Say you're writing this really big program and you forget that you have some variable all at the top named some global, right? And then you come down and you you're down here and you put in um, a global statement and you're changing the sum global well this can get a little hairy because now it's changing your other code it's changing this variable outside and that's why I don't like it because I don't like anything inside my function changing anything outside my function I don't like anything outside my function changing anything inside my function I basically like to think of my function as a little program and that's what I do I write little programs I write little functions that make one big function which is my program alright so as you can see, this can get a little hairy in bigger programs. Right now, it might look like, all right, well, you threw global in there and you changed this. Well, if you don't realize where else you use um, some global and a function, well, if you're changing it here, it might change down here. Or if you're changing it here, it might change up here or something like that, all right, when the program's running. So I try to avoid this at all costs, and I try to use just local variables and use my functions to work around that. But I do understand there's at times that you need to do that. So um, now you guys understand what a global variable is. The fact that unless you use the global statement inside a function, you cannot change the global variable. So it's kind of a protection against changing the global variable. But once you throw the global variable in there, you don't know what he's going to do. He's that idiot drunk guy, all right? Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to... Uh, like the video and don't forget to share it. See ya.